I'm just going to show you a couple of plugins that I've been using um, when coding Java on the Mac. I'm just about to install them here on Windows. I'm going to install the check style, find bugs, and PMD plugin. And I'm going to use a kind of plugin wrapper called QA plug to make it easier for me to do that. Now, if you're installing this on Windows or Mac, you might see a slightly different menu layout for this. So I'm just going to do file, settings, find the plugin, settings, install it that way on Windows. On Mac, you might not have that option. So what I tend to do, what I rely on very often when I'm swapping between different platforms, is the um, Control shift a command here on Windows. If I type in settings there, that will take me straight off to the, the settings window where I can choose the plugins. On a Mac, that's command shift a and it brings up that shortcut command line where you can type in the, the whatever feature in IntelliJ you're looking for because I, I forget in when I'm swapping between different platforms where the different um, options are. So what I'm going to look for now is the QA. So I had to choose Browse for the non-bundled ones. And you can see here we've got the QA plug for the main plugin. Then we've got different integrations, different wrappers for this. So I'm just going to install QA plug. Then I will install the other ones. Now I will edit this download process so it seems faster when you're watching it. But essentially I'm just going for check style, find bugs, and PMD. So now I have to restart IntelliJ for this to take effect. Okay, so now we should be good to go. So what I'm going to do is on my source here, this is the source code for um, the Java for Testers book. I right click and choose Analyze and Analyze Code. You see this little icon here means this is coming from the QA plug. Now, IntelliJ has always had the Analyze option there. We've just now got more things in here for the Analyze Code. I get just choose the whole project there. You see it find with check style, then find bugs, then PMD. And now you can see I've got a list of suggestions. So let's have a quick look and see what's going on here. So this is this is a perfectly valid suggestion. The test app environment class here should not have a public or default constructor because it's only got static methods in here. And remember when we write Java, if we don't add a constructor, there's one added in there for us. Because it's got static methods, we don't really want anyone to create this class. Therefore, by creating a private constructor, we prevent people having to do the, the new test app env and force them to use it in a static way. So that's a useful bit of information to help us with our Java code. Maintainability. So when I demonstrate the comparator, I don't create a serializable in here because I'm not in the examples using it on the, the trees or anything else that can serialize the objects. But if we're confused, if we don't understand what's going on, if I get a browser up here, I'm get a new browser, and I'm just going to type in the um, description there. Comparator doesn't implement serializable. Let's comparator doesn't implement serializer. Stack Overflow question: Why shouldn't we do this? And the answer is there. So we're going to learn more about Java by adding these tools, and it's going to help us. So there's going to be some quick wins, some hints and tips. There's going to be some things that we make choices about whether we choose to do this or not. And you can go through the rest of the code like this, and it's very useful. Just to remove small annoyances as we go through the, the code base. So if you install the QA plug, you'll get the check style, find bugs, and PMD. They both do slightly different things. Check style looks at your code for kind of stylistic things. Find the bugs looks for the kind of things that might lead to bugs in the future. And PMD gives you a bit more information on you're, you're doing stuff that you're, you don't really need here. So it might be useful in your code just to run these checks, learn about the things that it's telling you so you can make decisions on it and your Java coding will improve and this is an easy way of getting 
uh, more information, more hints, uh, another mentor, an automated mentor looking at your code for you.